Hello, everybody. I'm John Mann from Octeto. I'm hoping that I brought, or I came the furthest distance to come to DevOps Days here. I'm all the way from Colorado in the USA. So came here because we have such great customers. Some of them here in the, in the Tel Aviv are monday.com, Yotpo, or Yotpo, as far as I, I know how to pronounce it. Cider and Talon are some of our customers here. So rather than give a demo today, we thought you'd be better off hearing directly from someone that uses our product every day across their developers. So we're going to let Yopo speak about how they came to Octeto. Octeto does cloud development environments. And so from our side, we're going to let Yopo speak on exactly what they do. OK, hi, everyone. I'm Rui. Uh, Tech lead at Yotpo, and I'm gonna show a short uh, showcase about uh, how we use Octeto and why. It's only a 10 minutes, so I'm gonna like run over it. But I'm gonna stay later if anyone has any questions. So uh, a bit about Yotpo, we are e-commerce platform, uh, marketing platform. Anyone knows Yotpo? Whoa, one, two, three, good. So, in a nutshell, what we have? Yopo started like 12 years ago. We have one big monolith for everything. And uh, we come to the same problems that everybody getting working on a monolith. And three years ago, we decided, okay, we want to be like everyone. We're going to start using microservices. And after a year from then, we have a system that become very, very complicated. We have a lot of dependencies between our services. And we got to a point that no one can actually run the, the entire system locally, no, not with healthcare, not with anything else. We didn't have enough capacity. So we start coming up with ideas of how do we gonna tackle it? How can a developer work locally and have all the dependencies he need to make sure that uh, his system is working properly? Uh, like most company, we decided to build something our own. We call it dynamic environment. We allow a person to raise his own isolated environment of the entire Yoko system and running against it uh, using his own dockers there. Biggest problem, our DevOps team needed to maintain it. We have a lot of features that we needed from them. We come in every time with a request, something didn't work, something was broken, and it took a lot of time and a lot of nerves to maintain the system. Also, it was built in a way that it was all of nothing. Even if I'm working on a small microservice, I need to raise the entire stack to be able to test it. And that caused another problem. It was taking between 45 to 50 minutes to get the environment up. So I would come in the morning, make it start going up, going, eat, drinking coffee, eating food, come back after an hour, and I could start developing. So we took a step back and tried to think, what do we want? We want to be something that we can use easily, that will run fast and give us a quick feedback, and something that can utilize only what we want and be cost effective. After some research, we end up with Octeto that gave us exactly that. It was really easy to raise. We didn't need to have a lot of changes. It's it's uh, working on already existing dockers. You just need to set up how to utilize them. It was running really fast. In a matter of five to ten minutes, you have a working environment uh, set up for you. And you can only raise what you needed, which uh, reduced a lot of our costs. So we took our um, a lot of microservices. Each server with these dependencies become uh, what we call pipeline, uh, a unit in Octeto that one only what it needs. And you can tell it what your dependency is. So if you're using one service that depends on another, it will raise its pipeline, but still you don't need to raise everything. So today we are already using Octeto very widely in our company. Uh, we have a, more than 30 pipelines and going up every day. 
Uh, 150 users are actively using it daily, really enjoying it. The spend time, I said, up to 10 minutes, because 10 minutes if you, you try to raise everything, usually just raise a small part of it, and it takes two, three, maybe five minutes. And uh, we keep going, as I said. Uh, another cool feature, and it's like when we have most of the pain, is our monolith, because it's running on an old Ruby code, and it uh, usually takes up to a week for a new developer before we can start actually working on it on, and developing on it. Using the uh, Octeto Remote Debug features with uh, Sync, uh, we, can raise a we can raise a working remote uh, debug environment for our monolith, allowing new users for we'll start debugging and running the service after 20, 30 minutes from in his first day of work. And um, when he started, he's already getting a database with initial snapshot. So he doesn't need to create his own database or copy for someone that already bid it for it. He's getting something fresh and new and ready for work. That's it. Thank you very much. So let's give it up for Rui. That was awesome. Uh, if any of you are having trouble with these kind of use cases, come see us. I'll be glad to do a demo for you right over here, and we'll, we'll get things going for you. But thank you, everybody. And thank you to everyone here in Israel. You've been incredible, wonderful people, the best hosts I've ever seen. Thank you, everyone.